Hello, good evening. In this class we shall discuss one Android application which writes and loads the text from a file. Here is the application what we are going to have in the final thing. I have an edit text and here I type something say hello world and likewise uh, suppose if I say one two three and these things I want to store it in a SD card then I can save the contents so here I get the message file saved then we can clear the content and again I can we can load from the file by saying load therefore the contents are stored and again we can make some more modification and uh, thereby again these changes we can save and likewise we can clear the contents and again we can load so whatever contents we have it is read and written from the sd card and finally we have the exit which closes the application all right how to develop this we shall see how to do this all right so this is the layout what we want we want an edit text which multi-line text and a few buttons button for save load clear and exit I will start from the beginning therefore I will take a new Android project and I call this as a file exercise and next 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 finish and we have this uh, XML file new fresh XML file this I delete it and we want an edit text that will go to the text field this is a plain text and I prefer a multi-line text therefore put it here all right let us fill the width so that it matches the parent and again we want a few buttons therefore from the form widget this one is too big therefore I prefer small button I put it at the end one button for load one button for the means save one for load and one for clearing and one for the exit so here I can cross check see that if I click here the button this is button 1 and this one is my button 2 this one is button 3 which I can associate to clear one more button for the exit button this we can change the caption therefore I go to the XML layout and here we change instead of button I make the text is equal to say first one is save and the second button I want this to be load the third button we want it to be say clear the contents and the fourth button is exit from the application All right so here now if you see that save load clear exit these contents are there All right now we shall go to the xml file and now let us add those things one is the button i call it as button save and button load one button clear and other button exit right like this we now this one is uh, to be imported so import and likewise we have to add a, the exit uh, this one is clear like this let us add some more things right we want the edit text also therefore i take uh, edit text all right this i call it as uh, et right now this one this object edit text is equal to now we shall use the edit text and find a view by id let us search id dot uh, edit text where we are going to type the information likewise i associate the remaining things so like my button save button load and button exit this one i want the button exit is equal to button 4 so these things we associate now each of this we have to listen to a click listener therefore we shall attach a button save dot uh, on click listener now set on click listener and first I complete this semicolon then here we say that uh, new on click listener All right so now the on click listener is to be imported therefore let us uh, import on click listener so whenever I click this button when the button save is clicked whatever is in the edit text whatever is in the edit text it is to be converted into bytes and it is to be written in the uh, file therefore what shall we do is we shall take the file output stream 
So file output stream and I call the object equal to f 4 yes is equal to now we shall say open file for the output and what is the file name I call this one is equal to my file and the mode is equal to it is it is to be used as a private therefore mode private all right now the file is open now it is pointing my file is pointed by f o s object therefore f o s dot write yes see this in the write it is in the format of a byte therefore you will write it what is to be written whatever is in the edit text you get the text you get the text and this get text is editable therefore convert it to a string all right then you convert it into bytes get bytes right now the information is written therefore fos dot class all right therefore now this one the whatever is information is written and it is closed then let us display a message that the information is written therefore toast dot make text and here the context is this class itself and what is the duration text i simply say that uh, the file is saved all right then the duration is uh, again toast dot this length is short and then this function has to be shown all right so this is how we write into a file now let us check whether it is writing now let us save everything now if i run the application then i will get this now when i try to compile this it shows me some errors therefore if i hover the mouse over there here it tells me it suggests me that it should be surrounded by a try and catch all right so let us i will automatically take try and catch and here instead of opening this file i put everything inside the try block therefore we, we shall say everything inside the try block and this also we shall declare instead of declaration other thing i will declare this one file output stream is equal to this fos and this we shall remove it therefore everything is now in the try block if at all some some error happens then that one is found as an exception therefore i will make this exception as a general exception instead of file not found exception i will make it as a exception therefore we open your file my file which is linked to the fos object this fos is written whatever is in the edit text converted to string it is converted to byte and the information is written and then the stream is uh, closed right right <coughs> now with this uh, so now when we run the application then uh, we get this of course i have to make this edit text a little bit bigger so if i type one two three and if i save it we get a display message uh, that the file is saved now the same coding now let us extend it for loading and clearing of course the clear button is very very simple for example we can write like this the button clear dot uh, set on click listener button a sorry i am outside this class therefore i should go inside and here we shall write a button clear dot uh, set on click listener and uh, complete the sentence instead of the listener we say new on click listener and uh, only thing is we want to clear means whatever is in the edit text we set the text to a blank right that's it only one line of code which clears uh, everything likewise we can clear the exit button therefore button exit and dot uh, set on click listener and we complete this and now the listener is a new on click listener and here in order to complete the current activity we, we simply say the finish so that the current activity is finished and the application automatically closes now only one routine is left out that uh, what is to be done for the uh, load event therefore we associate one more thing so button load button load dot, uh, dot set on click listener and as if we complete this one and we say new on click listener now here we shall read the using a buffered reader let us write read it. therefore here we take the buffered reader because we want to read it therefore buffered reader we call it as reader is equal to new uh, buffered reader 
any of the noise cards short of time what i will do is i will i will copy this right we take buffer reader new buffer reader new input stream reader file input uh, file whatever file we generated here the same file we are opening here so again it suggests me to surround with the try and catch all right so it has come inside the try block and i want to make this exception as a general exception therefore i close it and then we take a string equal to text line and we consider a string buffer new string buffer and uh, while this reader we read each line and if it is not null then whatever we read that we append with a new line character and we keep on appending in the string buffer and finally when it reaches the end of file whatever is in the string buffer that is converted to text and that text is set as the edit text all right therefore only one thing we have to do this one is a single line so let us make it a little bit uh, fill the screen and now let us save and uh, let us uh, run the application so we have written all the routines for the save and for the load and for the clear and likewise for the uh, exit right now if we save and run the application so when i run the application here the text is ready but only drawback is the cursor is waiting from the half this we can change it to the top by saying the gravity equal to top now let us say one two and now let us save it and so the contents are saved i get a toast message and when i say clear the contents are cleared and then again when i say load the content is uh, loaded from the uh, sd card and of course the exit the exit will close this uh, uh, current uh, intent now where these things are there where how can i search my file so go to right now you are in java perspective now change the perspective to ddms right ddms perspective and here inside this go to the uh, file explorer in the file explorer you can find your package name go inside the data and within data go again inside the another data and there go to the package name what to develop we said file exercise therefore file exercise so go inside and here go to files and from the files you have one my file and my file here you can check it, check it out you can pull a content or you can push a content therefore i pull a file and so the contents are brought to the file i save it on the desktop i call this one is equal to my file and i save it and when i go to the desktop area then here i can see that uh, my file and if i open it using i know that this is a text file therefore if i open with a notepad you can see that these are the contents which i have saved right so this is a simple application how we can develop a android application for uh, uh, developing the file for storing in the sd card and other thing right so please give comments your comments alone will help me to improve thank you so much